fuel man just left low boy just got here so uh my logging friends this is actually one of their projects i'm going to so they're going to get the 220 and the dozer and uh their truck is really the only one that fits down the driveway you'll see where we got to go it's uh a lot of land but not good access all right we're loaded up ready to go oh next job site paved driveway lined in crepe myrtle trees all right we gotta get the truck in here we just gotta go down to there so we're going to be standing on the machine holding the branches back. little scenic trip through the woods here so you'll remember this job i helped my uh logging friends on we cleared like eight acres of horse pasture back here in the back he did all the clearing and i did all the raking and grading with the dozer well they are busy and 
got a pretty good size little dirt job up here. Uh, I'll need the dozer and the dump truck and all that. Nice little creek down here. And uh, yeah, I get to do it. So got the excavator over here. They are going back to get the dozer. And uh, I'm trying to get over here to the gate to be able to get up there to where I've got to work. But uh, yeah, you'll remember this whenever I get over here and can show it to you. All the uh, pasture that goes up the hill up there. So let me get this thing parked and go lay out what needs to be done. Well, we already have a additional project, move some light poles. But uh, you'll remember all that was trees, all that scrubby stuff and some big trees. They came in here, knocked it all down. Big fires, burn everything, grade it out. Looks like the pasture has taken off pretty good and it looks nice. So that's the dirt ridge right there that is getting cut down. I'll show you when I get in the field. All right, so I know it's hard to tell, but right here where the horse barn is and the trailer, there's a big ridge that comes up. When they built that barn, they just cut it out. There's a lot of drainage issues. Uh, customer wants to cut all this dirt out right here. And over here in the wood line, we're gonna take down a bunch of pine trees. I'm gonna cut all that down right there, haul all this dirt. And once I get over here, I will show you the slope and uh, try, what we're trying to do is create some more pasture over here that's usable and not a complete drop off. So I'm gonna come in here this afternoon and take these trees down. We're saving all the white oaks, but taking down all the pine trees and uh, getting all this cleared so that we can haul all that dirt over here, dump it off this path and push it over the hillside to kind of create a slope right here that is usable. Okay, so I am working on taking some of these trees down. That's where that huge yellow jacket's nest was. Literally the first tree I took down right there had a huge nest in it, or beside it or whatnot. But being on that hill made it very difficult to kind of reach down, try to dig up stumps. All it did was try to pull me over the slope. So uh, I worked my way down here to the bottom of the slope. And uh, it's a lot easier to work up the hill. You kind of have that leverage in your favor uh, to not pull yourself down the hillside. These little trees are really in that clay. Come on. That was a little violent, but I got it. Don't have many of them to take down. Uh, but there are a few good sized trees, uh, but it's going to be nice and hot this, this week. So I got to finish up some grading jobs while it's nice and dry. But while I move the equipment over here, I was already here. So I might as well get started on taking some of these trees down. Time is one o'clock. I'll get, uh, I'll get several of them done. I won't get them all down by no means, but, uh, I'll get them all knocked down and laid down. That way, uh, next morning when I come back out here, probably next week, I can uh, cut all those up and hopefully maybe salvage a couple logs out of stuff. I get to burn all this stuff. Um, it's not a whole lot, but burning is kind of frowned upon in this part of the county. So I'm allowed to burn. It's just, I know it looks like I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but kind of an urban area. But it's a good spot for all this dirt to go. It's a pretty hilly hillside here, unusable. So being able to put all that dirt here should definitely help out and uh, really make this pasture usable. As you can tell, it's like red clay and rock. down and laid on the ground so that summer sun can work its magic on drying this stuff out so it's a little bit cleaner burn it doesn't smoke so bad which as dry as it is it 
shouldn't have a whole lot of moisture in it, but pine always does tend to smoke a little more. Well, that's fine. I got plenty of other stuff to do until it dries out and the weather is right to work on it. But I mean, Paul's going to be over there, so I can I can actually go ahead and move a little bit of dirt. I just have to see how it works out. Wipe the dust off. All right, well, I'm gonna finish grabbing this little stuff, getting it broke up and put into a pile, and then work on taking those bigger trees down, and getting those laid up to uh, chainsaw when it's a little cooler one morning. So probably since all this is gonna get filled, I'm probably gonna dig a hole right there, not today. Uh, but before I burn and do a burn pit right here, that way everything is already in the ground. Uh, since I can bury it right here, since all this is going to get filled in some. But uh, what I'm doing right now is working my way around here. Ah, sleepy. Grabbing these uh, trees right here in the way. I'm going to go ahead and grab this red oak and take it down, get it broke up. Pretty much do whatever I can today to get as much stuff on the ground and drying out as possible. Um, just because everybody knows stuff that is dry burns a lot better. At least I should have enough hot dry stuff to be able to start a good fire with. Down and uh, get them crunched up. All right, once 
take a couple more trees down. I'm gonna leave the great big ones and uh, take those down when I'm ready to cut them up. Just in case the, uh, it's a little while longer before I get back. I don't want the logs to go bad. In the summertime, they can't stay down long before they stain. And they won't take them. So it's not much, but I'd rather be able to call them off than uh, have to burn them. But these trees right here are trash. They're all skin up and rotten, so uh, I can go ahead and take that down. Come on. No, oh, it's breaking. Sides with rock. It's different. Definitely more of a challenge. It doesn't look like much of a hillside, but it is. Okay, so I've made really good progress. All that's left is one, two, three, four, five big pine trees right there. I've already got two laying on the ground there. Uh, I will cut those up when it cools off. Uh, one morning, I'll end up digging a pit somewhere right here to burn in and just lay the dirt over there and I can take all this stuff and put it in there. But yeah, I'll come back uh, another day, finish taking those trees down and uh, get everything hopefully piled up and where it's drying out. Let's go see if I got a bulldozer now. I think there's a couple more trees up here she wants me to take down as well. But uh, yeah, figure that out when I get up here. 